In Unit 3, the third main component is sequences. And when you have a sequence, you have a pattern. And then you take that pattern and you duplicate it at some interval. Now I'm going to go down and do it again here. And so what I'm doing is I'm taking this pattern and then starting it here, which is a third lower than before. And then another third lower. Now you notice if I were to keep going by major thirds, that was a major third down. I started on E, now I'm going to start on C. To start another major third out, I have to go there and I'd go outside the key and pretty soon I'd be going way out, you know. That would sound pretty crazy. To stay within the key, we have to move by a particular generic interval. So I'm moving by thirds. I'm not saying I'm going by major thirds or minor thirds. We'll define sequences as motion, a pattern moving through gener the same generic interval over and over again. So you're, you've got a pattern that stays constant and you've got a generic interval of restatement that keeps coming back over and over again. That's really the way you get from statement to statement. Uh, let me give you a little definition here. Uh, sequences. So you've got a pattern and you've got statements of it two or more times in a row. So you at least have to have one restatement or you don't have a sequence. You can't just state it once. Um, third. After the third time, it can start to get a little boring, so a lot of times you'll find that you get three or maybe three and a half statements, and that's about it. But it, as long as it's two or more times in a row um, that you've heard a pattern, we're dealing with a sequence. As long as it's each new statement being a consistent generic interval, higher or lower than the previous one. The one I just played at the keyboard, we were going down by thirds, so you can go down, but you could also ascend either direction, as long as you keep on moving by the same generic interval in that direction, you've got a sequence going on. Okay, so you've got the idea of a pattern, and you've got the idea of replicating it at generic intervals away. That's what a sequence is about.